Randomized experimental design. A farmer is designing a process to maximize his crop. The farmer may have a higher or lower yield depending on soil type and fertilizers. So we have soil type. And fertilizers. The farmer decides to investigate the effects of combination of three soil types. We have soil types A, B, and C, and two fertilizers, 5, 10, 12, and 12, 18, 20. eight batches of seed will be processed at each combination of soil types and fertilizers. <clears throat> so that is our situation and we want to find the yield of the crop. So number one, is this an experiment? And explain. Yes, it is, because treatments are imposed. Number two, what are the experimental units? The experimental units are what you're testing on and we're doing on batches of seed. How many experimental units are needed? We're going to come back to number three here in a moment. I need eight batches times however many treatments. And that'll tell me how many experimental units I need. So let's do number four. Identify all factors. Another name for factors is explanatory variable. And in this situation, you have two. You have soil type. and fertilizer. Number five, how many treatments are there? Uh, what are they? So first we're gonna look at the levels. There are three levels for soil type. which is A, B, and C. You have two levels for fertilizer. Which is 5, 10, 12, and 12, 18, 20. And so what you do is for your treatments, You do all the combinations. You do A, 5, 10, 12. Okay, 
so that's one. You have A with 12, 18, 20. You have B with 5, 10, 12. You have B with 12, 18, 20. You have C with 5, 10, 12. And you have C with 12, 18, 20. So you have three levels for soil type, two levels for fertilizer. Those are your two factors. And you do all the combinations of those levels within the factors. And that gives your treatments. And we have six treatments. So let's go back up to number three. Eight batches of seed times six treatments, we need 48 batches of seed. That's how many experimental units I need. Number seven. What is the response variable? Well, explanatory variable was, well, we had two of them here, was your factors, soil type and fertilizer. It is what effect do they have? In other words, yield of crop. Number eight, describe an experimental design. You start off with a random allocation of treatments. And you can go off into your three soil types. I have soil type A, B, and C. And then your fertilizer. 5, 10, 12 for all of them, and 12, 18, 20 for all of them. And all of these have eight batches of seeds. So I put my experimental units in parentheses here. And then at the end, We measure and compare your response, which is yield of crop. Then we put it in a sentence. Start off with 48 batches of seeds. randomly assign eight batches to each of the above six treatment groups measure and compare yield of crop. Okay, so that is a completely randomized design. A completely randomized design starts off with a RAT, a random allocation of treatments. Okay, the other two designs, it's really one but two, does not start off with a RAT. So that's a good indication of what is a completely randomized design. So this is our completely randomized design. Number eight. 
Suppose you have 723, it should say batches of seeds. Which ones would be assigned to the first treatment group? So 723 batches of seeds. And we have eight batches for the first treatment group. So we're going to select eight three-digit numbers. Zero, zero, one to 723, select 724 to 999 and 000, ignore, and ignore repeats. We will need a key. This is select, this is ignore, and it says use line 130. Okay, so the textbook that we have, line 130 has 69051. Six four eight one seven. Eight seven one seven four. Oh nine five one seven. Eight four five three four. Oh six four eight nine. Oh, ran out of room. O six four eight nine. Eight seven two oh one. Nine seven two four five. So that's line one thirty. So three digit numbers. First three is six ninety. Where is six ninety? Oh, we select, so we circle. 516. So, okay, I have 690. Five, one, six. Yes, that's in there. 481. That's in there. 787 is not between 001 and 723. So, 787, we ignore. 174. 095 178 now if that was 174 I would have ignored that because I ignore repeats it's already been selected 453 and 406 those are my eight batches of seeds and I put a stopping point there. Okay, not too bad. Just got to make sure you do all this explanation so anybody can read this and understand what's going on. Number nine. What type of an experiment is this? It is, okay, oh, type. There are three types. This is completely randomized design. because we started off with a random allocation of treatments or rat. And did I have a control group? No. 
No. All batches of seeds. Received a treatment. So I probably should have had a control group. That would have made it better. It's because the control group measures how big of a difference is there. So it would have been nice to have a plot of land with a batch of seeds that had no special soil and no fertilizer. Better to have a control group to measure actual differences. Okay, so maybe having different soil type and fertilizer doesn't really mean a whole lot. And so that's what the control group would tell me. Yeah, it would, the soil type and fertilizer, you can see which one is better within the six, but you can't tell whether or not it's good to even have that soil type and fertilizer. So hopefully you understand completely randomized designs or rats. Good luck. So you just looked at completely randomized designs or rat designs which always starts with a random allocation of treatments first and then branches off from there. Make sure you draw your little diagram and then after your diagram write a paragraph that includes randomization that explains your diagram. Good luck on random allocation of treatments.